hi everyone this is the second video of leverage analysis chapter and in this video what are we going to do is in this video we are going to solve this problem of leverage analysis and we are going to calculate operating leverage financial leverage combined leverage and then there is one more question okay we are going to see all this so this is the second video of leverage analysis chapter in the first video what we did was in the first video we saw what is meant by leverage what are the different types of leverages and the formulas of these leverages Yes, operating leverage formula, financial leverage formula, combined leverage formula, all these things we have discussed in the previous video. And we have also seen what is meant by operating leverage, what is meant by financial leverage. Operating leverage means what? Operating leverage means taking advantage of operations of business. Yes, due to operating fixed cost, how the business will be in advantage. Yes, that is what we saw in the previous video. By increasing the sales by a certain percentage, how our EBIT increases. Yes, we want to see that. What is the effect on EBIT if sales increases by 1%? If sales increases by 1%, then what will be the change in the EBIT? Yes, what percentage change will be there in EBIT? That is what we saw. Yes, that is what is meant by operating leverage. And the formula is percentage change in EBIT divided by percentage change in sales. So here, what we do is we measure the impact of fixed cost operating fixed cost yes and what does this signify what does operating leverage signify it signifies the business risk yes it signifies the business risk if the operating leverage is more it means the fixed cost is more if the operating leverage is more that means the fixed cost is more in that business and the business has to do more and more sales to cover that fixed cost otherwise their business will be closed down Okay, they have to do more and more sales so that they will have more revenue to cover the fixed cost. Okay, if they can't cover the fixed cost, then their business will be closed down. Okay, that is what is meant by operating leverage. It can also be an advantage and it can also be a disadvantage. How it could be an advantage? If sales increases by a certain percentage due to fixed cost, what will happen? Due to fixed cost, EBIT will increase disproportionately. Okay, it will increase by a greater percentage. That is an advantage. Let's say operating leverage is two times. Okay, the operating leverage is two times. Then if you increase the sales by 1%, EBIT will increase by 2%. This is an advantage. Okay, if it increases. What if sales decreases? If sales decreases, then EBIT will decrease by twice. It will decrease by 2%. Okay, that is a disadvantage also. So having more operating leverage is not good okay and even having very less operating leverage is also not good it should be optimal understood okay so the formula where percentage change in EBIT divided by percentage change in sales and doll formula see there are two formulas here one is the percentage change formula and one is a simple and easy formula which you have to use in the exams okay if you can use it right that is contribution divided by EBIT and then we saw the financial leverage also financial leverage is also the same thing yes the concept is same here also due to fixed cost of finance that is interest and preference dividend what is happening the business is getting an advantage by increasing the EBIT by a certain percentage if EBIT increases by a certain percentage what we can see here is EPS increases by a greater percentage for example if financial leverage is three times the answer of financial leverage that is DFL if it is three times okay the answer if it is th three times that means what it means that if EBIT increases by 1% EPS will increase earning per share will increase by a greater percentage that is thrice that three times that is three percent yeah if EBIT increases by 1% EPS will increase by three percent if DFL or if financial leverage is three times understood so this is what but here we are measuring the fixed cost of finance that is what that is why it is called financial leverage okay here we are measuring fixed cost of finance okay interest cost here also there are two formulas one is percentage change in EPS divided by percentage change in EBIT and then the second formula is DFL is equal to EBIT divided by EBT understood here fixed cost here also fixed cost but this fixed cost is of operations that is why it is called operating leverage and here fixed cost is of finance that is why it is called financial leverage okay here the relationship is between sales and EBIT here the relationship is between EBIT and EPS understood this is what 
and then the combined leverage shows overall business of risk here here the financial leverage shows financial risk and here operating leverage shows business risk okay so here in financial leverage what is happening if if financial leverage is more then what does it signifies it signifies that business has more finance cost the business has more interest to pay there are more borrowings so if business has more borrowings then what will happen what will happen they have to generate more and more revenue to cover those interest to pay off those interest if they can't pay the interest what will happen they will go bankrupt yes the bankers and the creditors will will get them liquidated yes their business will be wound up if they can't pay the cost of finance if they can't pay the interest that is why so many companies are closed down right they can't pay the interest yes they will borrow more and more and then financial leverage will get increased and they will not be able to pay the fixed cost of finance that is the interest yes so that is why most of the companies goes under right so now here financial leverage if financial leverage is more interest is more if operating leverage is more that means fixed cost is more they have to generate more and more sales to cover the fixed cost and here also they have to generate more and more sales to cover the fixed cost of finance right so this is what is meant by financial leverage and this is what is meant by operating leverage yes it's an advantage but but if sales decreases yes here if eb decreases what will happen the change will also be in unfavorable yes the change will be unfavorable understood yes and then there will be combined leverage combined leverage means it shows overall risk of the business because it takes into consideration both operation and financial structure right so here the relationship is between sales and eps okay the whole profitability statement yes please watch the previous video to understand everything okay if you don't know the profitability statement and all in the combined leverage the the relationship is between the sales and the eps earning per share okay all right now let's solve this problem we have taken a lot of time here so the formulas are very simple okay so now let's solve this problem yes so here is the question here is the question see here a firm's details are as under sales at 100 per unit 24 lakh yes 24 lakh so the whole sales amount is given to us variable cost 50% now variable cost is variable in nature and it varies directly with the sales right if sales increases variable cost also increases so this 50% means what 50% of sales yes variable cost is directly related with sales so 50% mean 50% of sales understood and then there is fixed cost given in the question 10 lakh fine and then they have said it has borrowed 10 lakh at 10% per annum yes it has borrowed that means here this is what this is borrowing and at 10% interest so we need interest right in the profitability statement yes we need interest don't we of course we need interest yeah so that is what we are going to get this interest what is that 10 lakh into 10 percent that is 1 lakh yes and its equity share capital is 10 lakh 100 rupees each okay they have also given us share capital if we have to calculate eps then we would need what we would need number of shares so how are we going to get that 10 lakh divided by 100 each yeah, this is the face value and this is the whole amount so if you divide these two you will get the number of shares okay to calculate eps fine then they have said calculate operating leverage or you can say doll degree of operating leverage calculate financial leverage or dfl degree of financial leverage and then they have said combined leverage yes and then there is one more question if the sales increases by 6 lakh what they have said if the sales increases by 6 lakh right now our sales is how much it is 24 lakh okay if the sale this is 24 lakh if it increases by 6 lakh then it will be 30 lakh yes then what would be the new ebit what effect will it have on the ebit what effect it will have on ebit that is what they have asked yes we will see, we'll see all that right let's solve this problem it's a very simple problem it will help us understand how to calculate all this and how to get grip on this leverage chapter fine so yes let's solve this now let's start solving this problem see here first what do we do first we prepare the profitability statement why is that because we need contribution we need ebit we need ebt yes we need all this so that is why what do we do we prepare the profitability statement or income statement in income statement what do we take first according to the format we take the sales first right sales it's given in the problem 
24 lakh yes so 24 lakh and then they have said variable cost is 50 percent so from sales we deduct the costs yes to find ebit what do we do we deduct all the costs so minus variable cost that is 50 percent of sales 50 percent of 24 lakh is how much that is 12 lakh isn't it 24 lakh yeah 24 lakh into 50 percent that would give me 12 lakh so it is 12 lakh so variable cost is 12 lakh minus that then you will get contribution that is also 12 lakh 24 minus 12 is 12 and then there is fixed cost fixed cost is also given in the problem isn't it 10 lakh so fixed cost deduct the fixed cost you will get ebit earning before interest and tax this is also called as in costing it is also called as operating profit yes ebit but here this is financial management so here we are going to use this term okay ebit earning before interest and tax that is 2 lakh so now what are we going to do we are going to deduct the interest why interest first that is because we don't pay tax on interest so that is why we deduct the interest and then we charge the tax okay so that is why you have to deduct the interest first and interest is also given in the question not directly see here they have given us the borrowings it has borrowed this company this firm has borrowed 10 lakh at 10 percent per annum yes so that means it has borrowed 10 lakh it has borrowed 10 lakh and 10 percentage is the interest so that is 1 lakh isn't it 10 lakh into 10 percent that would give you 1 lakh yes so the interest is 1 lakh deduct that you will get ebt earning before tax okay so deduct the tax here it was ebit you deducted i you deducted interest you got ebt earning before tax so earning before tax is 1 lakh and then deduct tax that is 50 percent fine tax is 50 percent it will be given to you in the problem okay but here it was not given to the problem so i just assume that it is 50 percent okay but it will be given to you so tax is 50 percent that deduct that 50,000 and then earning after tax you will get it as 50,000 yes 1 lakh minus 50 that is 50 and then to calculate eps what we do what is the formula of eps earning per share to calculate earning per share you have to take earning available to equity shareholders only yes see after deducting the tax you will get eat earning after tax and then if there is any preference dividend deduct that you will get earning profit earning or profit available to equity shareholders only you have to take this profit the remaining residual profit whatever that is left in the business and that will be attributable to the equity shareholders right that is the earning per share earning divided by number of shares isn't it so that is what you have to do but here there was no preference dividend nothing right so that is why this will earning after tax will only be the earning profit available to equity shareholders okay if there is no preference dividend then earning after tax and profit available to equity shareholders only is the it's same right both are same if there is no preference dividend this is zero here it is one lakh this is also one lakh so it's the same thing yeah so earning after tax divided by number of equity shares okay how did we get number of equity shares see it's very simple here they have said share capital is 10 lakh the whole amount they have given and then they have said face value is 100 rupees just divide that see 10 lakh yeah 10 lakh divided by 100 you will get 10,000 as the number of shares so just divide that 50,000 divided by number of equity shares you will get earning per share how much the company has made earning on one equity share yes that is what you have calculated over here right there are total 10,000 shares and 50,000 profit has been made the profit available to equity shareholders yes so each share has generated income or earning of 5 rupees yes you get that this is earning per share what is the earning behind each share that is the earning per share fine so you have calculated the earning per share and you have completely done the profitability statement see this is how you have to do it it's very simple right yes now you have to use the formulas let's use that see the first formula that you have to use is to calculate the operating leverage yes doll percentage change but here why to use that percentage change you cannot use that percentage change because here you have only one column you can use 
but you have to do a lot of work prepare another column and all yes so that is what you will do you will use the second formula the simple formula contribution divided by ebit contribution divided by ebit it's very simple operating leverage or doll is equal to contribution divided by ebit 12 lakh divided by 2 lakh yes it's very simple don't complicate it okay 12 lakh divided by 2 lakh what you will get 6 the answer is 6 isn't it the answer is 6 so see here I have the solution over here operating leverage is equal to contribution by EBIT that is earning before interest and tax 12 lakh divided by 2 lakh you will get the answer as 6 times now what does this mean 6 times it means that it means that if sales increases by 1% if sales increases by 1% then EBIT will increase by 6% 6 times that okay if sales increases by 1% then EBIT will increase by 6 times 6x that is that is 6% okay you're understanding so this is what okay so here this is an advantage right this is an advantage due to fixed cost what is happening due to fixed cost we can see that if sales is increased EBIT increases by a greater percentage it increases disproportionately this is an advantage advantage of what advantage of fixed cost due to fixed cost of business which remains the constant as the sales increases and increases EBIT increases by a greater percentage it increases disproportionately fine so this is what is meant by operating leverage and you have two formulas to calculate that but here this is the fastest and the easiest formula okay so in exams always try to use this formula if you can't use this formula you have been given two columns and all then you might have to use this first formula that is the percentage change formula fine okay then let's see financial leverage what is the formula of financial leverage financial leverage is equal to dfl is equal to percentage change in eps divided by percentage change in ebit but we are using the second formula here also okay why because why to go for this it's waste of time over here right we can directly use this shortcut way yeah? dfl is equal to ebit divided by ebt now both of these are not same okay earning before interest and tax divided by earning before tax see earning before interest and tax divided by earning before tax yes so 2 lakh 2 lakh yes sorry 2 lakh yes 2 lakh divided by 1 lakh you will get answer as 2 that is 2 times 2 times yes 2x see here financial leverage is equal to EBIT divided by EBT 2 lakh divided by 1 you will get 2 times simple now what does this mean 2 times 2 times means what see if EBIT yeah, if EBIT increases by 1% yeah if EBIT increases by 1% EPS will increase by 2% why 2% why is that because because the financial leverage is 2 times if financial leverage is 2 times that means that that means that means if EBIT increases by a certain percentage then EPS will increase by a greater percentage twice that because of two times it will increase by two times okay your understanding if EBIT increases by 1% EPS will increase by 2% let's say for example if the answer was 10 times if this was 10 times that means what that means if EBIT increases by 1% EPS will increase by 10% you're understanding it's very simple it's very simple to understand yes this is what is financial leverage yes why EBIT and EPS why EBIT and EPS in the formula I have taken in the formula I've taken EBIT and EBT see the relationship the relationship in financial leverage is between the EPS and EBIT if See the relationship is between the EPS and EBIT, right? If EBIT increases by a certain percentage, then we can see a greater percentage change in the EPS. The relationship is between these two variables. Understood? And here we are using the second formula, okay? EBIT divided by EBT. Fine, simple, right? Okay. And then there is combined leverage. Now here in combined leverage, see there are three formulas. 
the first is the percentage change formula the combination of the financial and the combined uh, the financial and the operating leverage and then there is another second formula that is contribution divided by ebt and then there is also one more formula that is degree of combined leverage or combined leverage is equal to doll into dfl doll into dfl it's very simple right doll into dfl now we have already calculated the doll as well as dfl yes the operating leverage is six times financial leverage is two times just multiply these two to find out the combined leverage combined leverage is equal to operating leverage into financial leverage six into two that will give you 12 times simple right it's very simple and then and then there is the another formula also see here contribution divided by ebt yes contribution divided by ebt what is contribution contribution is 12 lakh yes contribution is 12 lakh and ebt ebt earning before tax that is 1 lakh so 12 lakh divided by 1 lakh will give you the answer as 12 times simple right so this is what is combined leverage right now what does the combined leverage signifies it signifies the overall risk of the business financial leverage signifies the financial risk of the business and operating leverage signifies the business or operating risk of the business understood it's very simple don't worry okay leverage chapter is very easy and in the in your bcom bba exams yes baf exams these problems are very simple believe me in financial management these problems will be very simple you can easily score good marks in this right and then there is the another question that is if the sales increases by six lakh what will be the new ebit right now let's see this solution right let's do this solution now let's solve this yeah this d if the sales increases by six lakh what they are saying if the sales increases by six lakh what does this mean see now currently the sales is how much 24 lakh yes it's given in the question sales is 24 lakh isn't it 24 lakh now what they're saying if the sales increases by 6 lakh if sales increases by 6 lakh then what would be the new sales if the sales increases by 6 lakh the new sales would be how much the new sales would be 3 lakh 30 lakh isn't it 24 lakh plus 6 lakh you would get the new sales as 30 lakh simple right yes now what do we need to calculate we need to calculate the ebit we have to calculate new ebit but to do that first we need to find we need to find how much change there will be in ebit and then add with the old ebit to get it to get a new ebit fine let's see this see we can do this by using operating leverage formula the percentage change formula okay we can do this see doll formula that is percentage change in ebit divided by percentage change in sales we can use this formula because we have because we already have percentage change in sales and we already have doll also isn't it we have calculated just now operating leverage yes we have doll we have percentage change in sales but we don't have percentage change in ebit so let's calculate it's very easy to calculate okay see here we have just calculated right just a while ago we have calculated the operating leverage that is six times yes so what are we going to do we are going to use this formula the percentage change formula the operating leverage is equal to percentage change in ebit divided by percentage change in sales yes operating leverage is six we know that right operating leverage is six we know that and then we don't know what is the change in ebit but we do know the percentage change in sales we can easily calculate see i will show you how to calculate whenever you need to calculate what is the percentage change in two figures right you have to use this formula okay it's very simple whenever you have to calculate percentage change in two figures you have to use this formula see this formula new figure minus old figure divided by old figure okay see how did i calculate percentage change in sales the old sales was 24 lakh the new sales is 30 lakh isn't it if we increase by 6 lakh so now what is the new figure new figure is 30 lakh 30 lakh what is the old figure 24 lakh new figure minus old figure divided by old figure so 30 lakh new figure minus old figure divided by old figure so you will get 6 see here 30 minus 24 is how much 30 minus 24 is 6 yes 30 minus 24 is 6 lakh and then 6 divided by 24 you will get 0 0.25 yes 6 lakh divided by 24 24 lakh you will get 0 0.25 
and then if you multiply it with 100 because you need it in percentages right percentage change in sales if you multiply that by 100 yeah if you multiply that by 100 what you'd get you will get 25 this is the percentage change in sales before it was 24 lakh from 24 lakh it has become 30 lakh the change is of 6 lakh so the change is of 6 lakhs or you can use this traditional formula and do this okay or new figure minus old figure divided by old figure 6 by 6 lakh by 24 lakh 0 0.25 in terms of percentages it is 25 percent fine so we got percentage change in sales easily we can calculate that right so percentage change in sales is 25 percent yeah and operating leverage is 6 we know that just we calculated that right and then we need to calculate the change in EBIT the percentage change in EBIT it's very simple just cross multiply right you can just cross multiply it's very simple see here what you will do 6 into 25 isn't it if you throw this 25 over there right then what will happen 6 into 25 yes percentage change in EBIT you will get 150 percent how 150 percent it's very simple see 6 into 25 that is 150 but we have multiplied 6 with the 25 percentage so the answer will also be in percentages that is 150 percent okay so that means percentage change in EBIT would be 150 percent if sales increases by 25 percent if sales increases by 25 percent then okay this will increase by six times that is 150 percent understood see here if sales increases by 25 percent then what would be the change in EBIT that would be six times that into six that will be 150 simple okay it's very simple see here so the increase in EBIT would be increase in EBIT would be what was the old EBIT the old EBIT was 2 lakh now the increase would be 150 percent of 2 lakh the increase new increase would be 150 percent of 2 lakh that would be 3 lakh yes the new increase would be the change would be in terms of numbers it would be 2 lakh into 150 percent that is 3 lakh okay now you have to add this change to the old EBIT to calculate the new EBIT that is 5 lakh simple right so this is how you have to do it okay it's very simple just use the operating leverage formula we have already got the operating leverage that is 6 we don't know percentage change in EBIT but we can easily calculate percentage change in sales right how to do that old sales and new sales we have it right because the change is in 6 lakh the change is of 6 lakh so 24 plus 6 lakh is 30 lakh yes we got the new figure so new figure minus old figure divided by old figure you will get 6 lakh by 24 lakh 0 0.25 into 100 in terms of percentages you get it as 25 yes right then what else is there then just use that in the formula and cross multiply you will get 150 percentage is the answer and then increase in EBIT the change in EBIT would be 3 lakh that is 2 lakh 150 percent of 2 lakh 3 lakh and then add it with the old EBIT to get the new EBIT that is 5 lakh simple so this is how you have to do it okay so the answer of D is 5 lakh okay it's very simple okay don't you worry it's very simple fine so this is how you have to calculate the doll dfl and dacl okay operating leverage financial leverage and combined leverage it's very simple okay if you have any doubts right please please post below okay please write the comments fine okay all right easy right okay